Well, if it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. You're speaking about me that's a little odd. Just awful. What a clown you are. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. Whoever would say that certainly isn't right. They're right. You are awful at this. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you've clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. <laughs> you're even worse than they say. Thought it might be gossip, but it's all true. I'll be sure to spread word of your failure across England. You would do better to shut your mouth. I'll be back. Come to repair your reputation, have you? Let me show you my... How? Oh. Here's the... To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they're sorely mistaken, unknown for my might. Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you've clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Don't believe everything you hear, unless it touches on my flighting. Then heed every word. Take the coin. And know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. Mm, such exquisite fletchings. Fitting feathers. How dare you touch those sacred arrows? You've desecrated a martyr's place. Halt, stranger! Show me those arrows. These are just arrows, plain and simple. Why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. I wonder... I have studied those arrows, but never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, 
Would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund errors might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort, new from old. The kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you. What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Here, little one. No, stop! Oh, pig poop. You ran off again. Cats are free spirits, aloof and haughty. Like the goddess Freya. I know, but ever since old Cotter died, that old sea cat has run wild, scaring the chickens and scratching me. Ah, ship's cats are good luck. Do you need help catching him? Oh, yes, please. You little mouse spider. Wow! Nolly hasn't let anyone touch him since old Cutter died. But he sure loves you. Do you want to join my crew, Nolly? You would make a fine raider, I think. Every longship needs a brave cat for luck. And for the rats. Looks like I have another raider. I do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summon owl, have you know. And I'll rise in his stead.
Easy, girl. Nets are well set. You have stocks for a hundred moons. You will live a long and hearty life. But father, you are not too going to stay. But I am. The weavers have sent me many portents. I only await the proper death. The family prince of honor has to you. <laughs> The air is filled with the smell of fish guts. Your catch appears generous. Your nets overflow with silver stock. You're lucky. Good warrior. You carry yourself with the spirit of a Drenga. I am a Drenga too. In fishmonger slacks. Is this your way of hiding or protecting those around you? My life has had many chapters. Ragnar Lothbrok himself started as a farmer, you know. He often envied my choice. You rode with the great army of Ragnar. I did. And it was here in England that I saw a land so fertile you could spit and food would grow. Water steaming with fish. I met a Saxon lady, Athelswig, and we have made a fine life for ourselves. The best clams in all of East Anglia. But now I must show my son the way of the Drenger. How to die with honor. I respect your desire for an honorable death. I want my son to watch. He should have the final word when I pass. He will not see me die on a bed coughing like a crow. I accept your fight. We'll show your boy how Drenger do their bidding. Do you hear this, son? Today you will see the color of the blood that made you. The color of courage and honor above all. Any weapon will do!
<laughs> Some coins have been taken from me. Green footprints. Could be a child. What's this? There's something odd going on in these woods. It is shrouded within an eternal twilight. You live here? Where are your parents? Questions, questions. Those can wait. Let's go up first. <laughs> Welcome to St. Martin's Land, weary traveler. <laughs> Mitt fyse till dess att ni är matgärda dig. Marka dvägar ni. Är rot er ägg i mot dig? Följer ägg i? Svavat, kan rå för trall? Är det här till att land vet du? I thought we got away, sis. Your hands and feet are swift, children. But your stealth needs work. Ah, uh, we were close. We will give you what we took, traveler. But first, you must listen to our story. <clears throat> Once, a long, long time ago, in a faraway land, there was a sister. And a brother. I was getting there. 
But yes, and a brother. They lived happily in the land of St. Martin, all by themselves with delicious beans. Lots and lots of beans and cake. But now, life is harder. There are no more beans or cake, and we have to take what is not ours. We're not bad children, just hungry. Sorry, Large Walker. There is no shame in surviving, and there is nothing you should not do for family. You're wise, Large Walker. Here, take my silver. You were going to anyway. Buy what you need. Only steal if you cannot afford it. Thank you. But I do not think we deserve this. You don't deserve to live like this either. Spend the silver wisely. Here, large walker. A necklace? Yes, it's a St. Martin seal. You're welcome here anytime, large walker. You're one of us now. Visit us, okay? I will. Take care now, small green walkers. Feel stronger already. I sense a twisted satyr on the air. <gasps> An unjust fate has befallen this one.
Rest your wings, Sunan. Poor victim of someone's fury. I will hear for blood, like all of those wretched others. Speak! Not for yours, unless you tempt me. Liar, liar, liar! You will join them, all the unkind dead! Now I open the scars of my heart! Seda, you sing troll! Breathe deeply! Watch as I become smoke! And listen as I break your bones! Raise the glass of Odin's heart. Another word. <laughs> Just fate has befallen this one.
I am here. I am here. Look, I've made this myself. My tallest can yet. Oh, yes. Your mother said you had taken swiftly to the stack of stones. This is impressive. And it can stand hard against the winds as well. Watch! <gasps> <laughs> A burst of blue air that blows to rival Njord's noisy belches. Well made, Eivor. But know this. Height is not the only trait of a Cairn's beauty. Shape, balance, and expression are key. Seek a variety of these. Let your only goal in this task be to surpass your own best creation.
I have come upon these ancient timbers, tarred for preservation, to mark my sacred symbol and pinpoint the source of their power. As I pray, the Lord sends through me the voice of a Holy Spirit. It reverberates with the finery of ancient language, and I am made anew. Were these timbers carried by the Nephilim? Barriers against invasions from afar? Please, Lord, let this truth shineth upon me as bright as your word doth.
man's home burning 
Yet he was hopeful, and death stood outside his door. It is always better to live, even in misery. Troll curse corruption lurks here. What is this place?
Hide and hunt is a true warrior's game. It is good that you play it. Then play with us. This lot's easy, but you'd be hard to find. Go hide with the others. After the count, I'll seek you out like the mighty wolf Fenrir. Everyone hides while I count down. And after the count, I will seek you out. Everyone, go hide. But stay in the village. Outside the village is out of bounds.
I am getting closer. My keen wolf nose is picking up a scent. Urgh. My keen wolf nose is picking up a scent. Found you, Pebble. Ah, you peeked, didn't you? Ha! Nothing escapes the mighty nose of Fenrir. Giant, you won the game. I lie not. You won. I surrender, Giant. <laughs> the Giant is the champion. The hider in shadows, the one who lurks unseen. Satu, I saw under him. Farewell, children. Play well and stay warm. A glorious game. In these times, even children must hide from two-legged wolves. Get ready for hide and hunt, everyone. The murdering heathen!
Dark spirits rule the ethers. them instead to the same hell. This is not your... Did you kill these men? These defilers killed themselves by despoiling this sacred ground. God told me the full tale. Then he told me to chastise them. And he has told me much about you, too.
Tell me again. What did your gods say about me? My god names you the Crow-Eyed Devil. <laughs> and he sends out his angels to find you and to kill you. And then they will fling you into the pits of hell, demon. Stretch your wings sooner. Bex, I found another anomaly. Is that what we're calling them? And another data packet. Should I get it? If it's anything like the last one, absolutely.
Hey, are you two hearing the same voice as I'm hearing? Not sure what you mean. It's all quiet on our end. Damn it. Well, I'm at the second packet. You ready? I'm ready. I got it. Be ready. Troll, cursed creature. So be it. What troubles you, friend? Why won't the seer answer your call? 
I know not. But without her draft, my family is doomed. door is locked and nobody is stirring within. Better look around. Blood leading away from the house. Something's amiss. Butterflies. Someone has lost a lot of blood. Grace, Freya, but please, show me a sign. You have my thanks, kind one. Your wounds are grave. Should you not rest in bed? I'll carry you home. It is no wound, but the blood is mine. I made the potion, Freya's blessing, to help the crops grow. Blood meat. Good. You know of it. From my pain, life springs. Ah, uh, please, help me to the clearing. The field needs the blood meat. There's a farmer at your house who needs it as well. She waits desperately for your return. Oh no, but my fields. If I fail in my task, the harvest is doomed. Please, bring me to the next bloodstone. Dear. The pain surges, but I must finish the ritual. I could take her to the next bloodstone. She could finish the ride. Or I could bring her back to her house, where the farmer waits. Blood and pain are the will of Freya and Freyr. Speak now. What do you need of me? Seer, my crops wither and my family starves. Harvest comes soon, yet our fields remain barren. I know your land suffers, Radha. Take the rest of my blood meat and water your soil. All will be well in a few days. Thank you, blessed Seer. I will see to my fields at once. <laughs> Thank you. You are both welcome to any good crops my farm will produce. Look for me at my farm in a few days. Full <laughs> <laughs> 